Hello everyone, welcome to IIT Frontier. My name is Hariharnath. In this video, we'll look into how to create Windows VM and use RDP to connect to it. Before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please click on the subscribe button and like this video to support us. Now we'll try to create a Windows VM. So first you have to log into the Azure portal and in the Azure portal you should click on create a resource. So once you create a resource, you have to create a virtual machine. So you, under the virtual machine, click on create. So you'll be having uh, some details to be filling. So in the subscription, whatever is active, you can select that. And right now in the resource group, you can create a new resource group. So I'll use vm-win IoT Frontier. Next, I'll try to use the virtual machine name as Windows IoT Frontier. I'll leave other things as it is. And the image, we have to select the Windows. So Windows, I'll be having this Windows Server 2022 edition. So I'll use that. And the VM architecture is x64. I'll leave as it is. And the size I can select with more uh, CPUs and 16 GB RAM. So that would be more faster. Now I'll use the username. So I'll have to use a username that I should remember. And also create a password. Again, use the same password. Here, the inbound port rule 3389 RDP should be enabled and everything we can click on next as we are using, we'll be using SSD itself. Uh, if you want to have less cost, you can also use HDD, but it would be somewhat slower and click on next for everything. As we are not changing anything and click on next. It will try to review and do some validations. So finally, it will say per hour how much it is going to charge us. So right now it is showing 29 rupees. And then I'll try to create it. So it has initialized the deployment and it will take a couple of minutes. I'll fast forward this. Now you can see the deployment has been completed and you can click on go to resource. So in the go to resource, if we have reached virtual machine, then it is completely done. And you can check the windows uh, operating system, the public IP address and whatever the size that we have chosen. The first thing that you have to do is click on connect. So under RDP, you will be having this download RDP file, click on it. So now we have to click on this RDP file. So you, uh, here you have to use a different username that is not your system username. So you have to go to use different account. And first you need to copy the domain name. First domain name is the VM name and VM name uh, then username. So forward slash username and whatever the password that you have given, click on OK. So it will ask the certificate, click on yes. Now uh, we have entered into the RDP. So you can see the VM is getting created. You can now see that desktop is being initialized and it will ask this I will select no and you have everything ready. So what you have to do is you can check the browser for if the internet is working or not. So I will go to Microsoft Edge. So 
So, it will ask some settings. I will do start without using your data, continue without this data, and then confirm. So, now we can check the speed of the internet. So, we can see the download speed. Now, the upload speed you can observe both are on the same range 100 Mbps and the upload speed is much more higher right now it is going until 1600 as well. So, this is the steps that you have to follow to create a VM. Now, I am closing the VM. The final important thing that you have to do is go to overview page and stop the VM once everything and your work has been done. Because if you do not stop the VM per hour, it will be charging some around whatever we have seen, right? That 25 rupees or something that keeps on charged. If you are using your credit card to pay the bills of the Azure, then it, you will be facing huge bill for virtual machines. So, I will click on stop and click on yes. So, it will try to stop this virtual machine and immediately I can see uh, the start button gets enabled after this is stopped. I hope this video has helped you understand how to create Windows VM and do RDP into it. Please support us by liking this video and hitting that subscribe button. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.